Okay, real quick, this is just a tier list that I made based on characters that kind of weigh out to be the easiest to learn uh, when you first start playing the game. In my opinion, at least there's a lot of people that will probably disagree, but in my opinion, this is kind of the order of stepping stones of what you want to take it. Uh, you can obviously start with whoever's the most fun for you, but you could have a really, really hard time trying to learn certain people if you don't understand uh, all the mechanics of the game. So uh, go ahead and pause this or screenshot this if you feel like you want to um, keep it or if you want to study it a little bit. Um, but other than that, we're just going to get right into it. All right, so Dragon Ball Fighters is going to be released on Xbox Game Pass pretty soon. So what I wanted to do is basically just do a list for people who are going to be starting to play or people who are already playing and they just don't know who to play whatever whoever benefits of what characters i think are extremely beneficial to learn to start just because there's a huge skill gap in this game and a and not a hundred but a lot of different a lot of different characters that you can play and there's a couple key reasons why i choose some specifically and i have never been good at fighting games until recently until i just started playing this game a couple years ago when it came out and then i just kept playing and playing and playing and getting better and better um so i just want to go over a couple things that certain characters need for me to be able to play them so basically one of them uh in fighting games you're going to be stuck in the corner a crap ton you're always going to be in the corner, especially in this game, because you're going to call their assists and trap you, and then you're just going to be stuck and you're going to be frustrated. So what I like to do is, after the hard knockdown, I like to do things like jump, and then you can do this. So you get that distance and you create that space. So a lot of characters have that, but a lot of characters don't. So for me, honestly, if I don't have a character that has that because I suck at defense, I won't win the game. I just, I just literally, I just won't win the game because. If you can just pinch me in the corner, eventually you're going to open me up because the pressure is just too much for me to handle. So you need characters like Goku Black to start out. Or even for me, I, keep, I still use him, but, or like Goku Black to start out. And Krillin would be a better example than TM because he can do this, you know, he can get out that way and create a lot of space. And same thing with, um, you see Vegeta on the other side and uh, Goku Blue, they can do the same thing. Um, another thing that you're looking for that's going to be huge is you want the special move so the special moves that are going to hit your opponent high so krillin so for example you see goku blue has to block high for that and if he doesn't block high then he's just going to end up getting hit Let's see if i can change it real quick don't switch so if he doesn't block high oh he's still standing then he gets hit by this not every character in the game has that so look at Goku Black special moves, for example, so that's like the down forward X or the down forward Y, for example, if anybody doesn't know what, is, what a special move would be in a fighting game. So Goku Black's, this just hits normal. You can block it low, you can block it high, it doesn't matter. But he also has a command grab. So if you're playing against someone who's really good at defense, you just hit him like that, and then you get an easy confirm, where you can just get the other thing about these characters that's really good, another reason why you want to learn them first, and then you'll easily progress and you'll move really quick through the characters, but I'm just saying who you should learn first, which I should say you should always obviously just play who you think is going to be fun. Like me, for example, I started this game with Trunks and I've played him since day one. And if you take a character that's really, really hard and you play him day one and you end up playing this game for like years you're gonna be a beast so do that i recommend doing that but if you just want to win games then maybe you know a couple characters are gonna be easy for you to learn uh so for example when i say like a bread and butter combo um a lot of these characters they have the same bread and butter combo which is the same input so you you'll end up learning this on your own i mean i don't want to get into like teaching combos and everything like that but if you see on the side you can see the inputs i'm doing but every character here that i'm using pretty much has the same inputs for their combos krillin's is a little bit different i i showed that tier list earlier um a lot of the characters pretty much have the same you'll, you'll realize that really quickly and there's there's other guides for that out there but tm for example same thing same exact inputs so you want that same bmb &B, you want that corner escape um that a lot of characters have uh another important thing so tm he has a 2l so if we go to guard all and we say don't switch all right so tm if you hit, if you're crouching and you punch, it hits low. 
So, a lot of characters don't have that. For example, so you can use, like, Goku Black, who will crouch, and then you punch and it hits high. So you don't have that option. Krillin. Yes, yeah, Krillin does too. So you can open it up like that. So it just gives you other mix. So think about it. You could literally be doing things like this, you know? You come at him, maybe you hit him high, and then you go low. And characters like Goku Black, that's a lot harder, because you just don't have that option. Goku Black has things like this, where he can hit high, or he can reverse it. But, you know, the 2L, it just adds another element. A character doesn't necessarily need a 2L, but, I mean, if they have it, it's obviously going to be a lot easier. Because uh, it gets into your opponent's head and starts, like, messing with their mind. Especially in this game when people are freaking maniacs. Um, just certain things like that. I mean, you, you, you want a character that can get you out of the corner super easily. Goku Black's one of them. Base Vegeta's one of them. Broly kinda can. Goku Blue can, for sure. Because they all have their little special moves that make them go flying. Um, you want a character that has a low 2L, so you can kind of open people up that way. That's not, you know, whatever. That just helps. That's not definitely going to make or break a character. But, I mean, if you can get a character that has a... It's obviously going to help you early on uh, when you're learning the game. Um, command grabs, meaning if they're blocking, like our Goku is here, you can just get them. So if you have someone that's really defensive, you can open them up like that. And then when you go into Krillin, you get special moves that... Um, that will hit high and open up your opponent's eyes. So just things like that. I mean, I started playing this game. I had no experience with fighting games at all. And I had to kind of go by trial and error to figure out who I wanted to use, why certain characters were good. And I came to the conclusion that I need someone that can get me out of the corner or I'm screwed. I kind of need someone with a command grab. It's not make or break, but I mean, you need that stuff to kind of get in your opponent's head, especially when you get someone who's good at the game. Um, and they're, they're starting to play really defensive. Uh, 2Ls are helpful. Just take a look at that tier list that I did if you can pause it, at, if you pause it at the beginning of the video. Just see, I mean, obviously start with who you feel like is gonna make you comfortable uh, and who you think is gonna be really, really fun because that's what I did, but I also went through misery at a certain point, trying to learn the game. So um, that's just my opinion. Uh, I've been playing the game for a couple of years, so I, uh, I have a pretty good idea of it now, but just, Ultimately, it's a game. Have fun. And that's it.